Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to episode 28 of my Juventus career mode. Now before we start, obviously apologies that I've not been able to upload in the last 4 or 5 days. Uh, that's due to obviously my exams, which I did mention previously. So thank you for bearing with me with that. Hopefully there'll be a few more videos out, but not loads obviously because I've still got exams going on. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into this episode and I'm playing Belgium, it's international week. Uh, some friendlies for me to play, first of all against Finland and then the next game is against... Uh, Mexico, so that should be an interesting match, and then we might have time to maybe play one league game as well. But let's get on with the game against uh, Finland and see whether we can try and get a win. This is the team I'm going to be playing with, I think. Um, let's see, anybody else? Actually, I'll put De Bruyne out there. We have that many decent players, it's so tricky to pick a team each time. Um, I mean, that's a nice issue, obviously, to have, but I think that's going to be my team I'm going to put out. I think uh, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. And let's see if we can try and get another win. Here we go. I've not played a game of FIFA in ages, obviously, because I have had so many exams. I should be able to upload a little bit more. I'm going to try and do every other day, but that's going to be challenging. So maybe not quite every other day, but like uh, two days without videos, then a video, two days without videos, then a video, and obviously so on. Uh, but we'll see how we get on, obviously, with that. It does really depend on uh, whether I have enough time. Um, but I'm hopefully going to use up my lunch breaks because I've got home study quite a bit. So uh, hopefully use my lunch breaks to record some videos. Here we go, Benteke. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, and he's injured. Typical. Five minutes in, Benteke's already injured. And obviously he's my player uh, for my actual club. Oh, no. That's not good. And he's having to come off. Okay, so we have to have a bit of a change around. Lukaku is going to go up top. Benteke is going to have to come off. And um, we'll bring on Mertens instead. It might be a beneficial change, who knows really. We'll have to see how we get on, but uh, ugh, it doesn't look a nice one. He's going to be out for a bit, and that is more of an issue, to be honest, for my club than it is uh, for my uh, country, because, to be honest with you, it's just a friendly. I don't really have any important games for the, cl uh, for the country coming up, but that's slightly annoying, actually. Oh, I think we've got a free kick really near here. We do. Eden Hazard. Come on. I think it's going to be a little bit too near. Might sound stupid. Ah, oh, Not enough height on it. And Lukaku nearly got a shot up. Well, he did get a shot away. He nearly went in. Uh, that was a bit of a strange one, actually. The free kick seemed to go in between the wall. I don't think it went round it. Uh, but a very strange start to this game. Lukaku's in. And that's a goal kick. Whitzel through to Mertens. Goal! The substitute scores. That's a nice uh, substitute now. A nice little change that I made. Uh, with him scoring a little um, chip from Witzel and smashed down by Mertens. The goalkeeper, what was he doing there? Or what wasn't he doing? He didn't even move, <laughs> just stand still. I mean, it wasn't that tricky to save. He could have put his foot out or something. But that is 1 0, and we are winning comfortably. The Kaku's through. He's going through 2 0. It's easy. That Finland keeper is absolutely awful. 2 0. And the fun little fact for you, uh, Belgium moved up to second in the world rankings the other day. So we are now actually the second best team in the world, um, obviously in real life. But that is pretty insane, actually. I think it was just Germany that was above them. I can't remember who was third. It might be in Argentina. Uh, but yeah, Belgium's second best team in the world. So I'm quite happy that I've already got them, actually, uh, with me being the Juventus manager. And now, obviously, uh, Belgium as well. 2-0. We've got like all the possession here. It's unbelievable how bad they are. Lukaku, that's got to be a free kick. It's not. Oh, I thought it was a certainty. Lukaku's running through. He's only got one more to beat. He's beaten him. Lukaku saved this time. That is a surprise. The goalkeeper saved something. And that is it for the first half. We are winning 2 0. Not going to make any changes uh, going into the second half just yet. I uh, will probably, after about 15 minutes, we'll just see how he gets on, whether we can get a third goal or not, and uh, yeah, basically see whether uh, we can improve the scoreline. Lukaku with the fake shot, he's still going. Lukaku, 3-0, smashes that one home. The keeper again does absolutely nothing, and we're winning 3-0 against Finland. Is this Finland's first shot? It is, and it's a goal. Oh my god, 3-1, we have conceded, and we are actually going to make a change here. Is it the first shot? It is, it's the first shot. wasn't even classed as on target. Uh, with it hitting the post and let's see 
Hmm, I think we're not going to bring this guy on uh, in left wing. We'll take Hazard off. We don't really want to uh, use his energy. We'll save him for the Mexico game. And we'll also bring on Thielmans and take off Witzel. And that is going to be it. Lukaku to Mertens. Oh my god. That should have been for What happened there? We'll blame on the fact that it was his left foot, I think. We'll go with that as an excuse. Five minutes out of on. They've got another corner after Courtois to put one over the bar. And this time we just need to get it out straight away this time. Brilliant stuff. And that is it. We have won the game. 3-1. Brilliant result in the end. Uh, not that it really goes towards anything because I'm pretty sure it's just a friendly. I'm almost certain of that. Uh, it is just an international friendly. And uh, let's see how England did. They beat Egypt 2-1. Uh, Mexico drew to Denmark, which is good because we've got them next. Uh, so, yeah, I think everything's going pretty well, actually, at the moment. Update from Spain. I'm not bothered about that. Oof, only nine days. That is lucky. I was expecting it to be, like, two months. I was getting really worried about that one. Uh, but, yeah, nine days isn't too bad. We can live with that. Gaia has accepted the contract, which I offered him in the previous episode. Uh, I think I might have been off camera, actually. I can't remember. Or I might have done it at the end of the episode, anyway. And we do have a game against Mexico. Now, I'm not going to play this game because it is just an international friendly, so there's not really much point in wasting the rest of the episode doing that. So, we'll put Lukaku up there. We'll bring on uh, Hazard, actually. Um, not Thorg and Hazard this time, though. And I think we'll pretty much just go with that as the team. And uh, then that as the bench as well. Um, and we'll just sim this game, see how we get on against Mexico. It's at home, so we should have the home advantage, and we should probably get a win here. And let's see how we do. Okay, so they're playing five at the back already, which is an interesting one against our 4-2-3-1. So it'll be an interesting game, this one, actually. And we've scored after two minutes with De Bruyne. And their goalkeeper got injured. Uh, and he's not come off, actually. That's a bit of a surprise. That usually happens when they get injured. 2-0, Lukaku makes it. Uh, brilliant from him. Uh, Vermaelen getting books. Mertens on, Hazard off. That's probably what I'd have done as well. They've got a goal back with um, Vaz, Vazquez. I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name for any longer. Uh, but anyway, we got another goal, 3-1. And going to the end of the game, we have won the game again, 3-1. Uh, so a decent result against Mexico. No injuries, which is what I like to see. Okay, back on with the league now. And we do have a home game against Sassuolo. I think that's how you pronounce the name. They're not a particularly good team, if I remember. It says that the mid-table here with the game to go, actually. So it sounds like they're doing quite well at the moment, but I'm pretty sure they're a fairly average side. We are going to sin this game, but we are going to be playing the game afterwards, which is against Atletico Madrid. For obvious reasons, I want to get that into this episode. So I am going to sin this game again. Uh, we are going to change the team, and I'll be back in a minute once I've decided what exactly the team's going to be. Okay, so this is the team we're going to be using. Now, there has been quite a few little changes here, and that's down to the fact that we do have a big game against Atletico Madrid like three or four days after. So that is kind of thought out there. Uh, so we have done quite a few changes of some of our main players. Um, you can see the team for yourself, basically. Vidal's only in there because he's got like 93 stamina, so he should be fine uh, for the game afterwards. And let's see if we can try and get a win. We should really when we're at home. But you never know. We've got maximum points so far. And they've got a defender playing right wing. Which is an interesting one to start off with. Let's see if we get on. Hopefully we can get another win to add to our points tally. Okay, we've got a goal. Felipe Anderson after 10 minutes. That's a good start. Hopefully we can get a second. Varane's getting booked though. Uh, 26 minutes in. Uh, just coming to the end of the first half. And it's still 1-0. Tevez on. Morone on. Devin gets the goal to get for our second goal of the game. Uh, into the 70th minute now, and Chiellini, I can never pronounce his name, Chiellini comes on for Varane Tevez with the third goal, and we finish the game 3-0. Brilliant win. And uh, that moves us, probably in fact stays uh, exactly the same in the league, uh, down to the fact that we already were top of the league. We've got maximum points still, but we do have this big important game against Atletico Madrid to play. Uh, we'll have a look at this email, probably nothing too interesting, no, just the press conference, and we'll sim to the match. Just before we get into the next episode, um, I was speaking to someone in the comments and basically we came to the decision that we will be offering Tevez another contract. We kind of have to, he's kept us afloat pretty much in the last few seasons. I'm going to try and get a two year deal out of him, um, hopefully he's fine with that. Crucial first team player, 
and we'll up his bonus per goal to 10% just because uh, I'm hoping to try and just keep him. 8 goals and 11, that's pretty decent. Obviously he's been further back this year, uh, so that's probably the reason why he's not got more goals, but I'm happy to keep him on, obviously. Uh, so we are going to hopefully try and get a two-year deal from him and uh, secure him at the club. But now we're on to the big important game against Atletico Madrid at home. And I am going to change the team around a little bit. Carvajal will stay. Um, Marcelo will play. Chiellini will play. And I think I'm actually going to play. Divin looks like he's recovered a little bit better uh, from that game. So I'm going to play him there. And he's right footed, so that's fine. Uh, and then in midfield, we've got Pogba. And we are going to drop Vidal back. He's recovered nicely from that. Wilsh is going to go on to the left hand side. And then I'm going to have to put, I think. Benteke up front for obvious reasons and then Tevez just behind him and what about Raheem Sterling he's gonna play I think down there 85 overall now Raheem Sterling really good uh, he's not been that amazing in game though, I don't think so I think that's gonna be my team we're gonna put Dybala on the bench somehow I'll take Melares off and Perlo's also gonna have to drop to the reserves because I want to put Torres on there Berardi I think he's going to have to stay on here, but I'm going to put Cole onto the bench, take Felipe Anderson off, and that is going to be the team uh, and the bench. So uh, let's see if we can going to try and get a win. Big important game. Torres won't be playing against his old club, um, but we're just going to see if we can try and get as many goals as possible and get another win to uh, add to the table and obviously add to our points tally. Oh, Ben Teke's just injured himself again. Oh, literally inside the first 10 minutes. Oh, I tried to get past the defender and he just collapsed. I don't know what happened there. It's probably going to be a foot injury, I'd imagine, and he's definitely going to have to come off the way it's looking at the moment. And the throw, and it's off. Oh, it was 1 0. He's going to have to come off, I'm sure he is. Although, it's not actually said anything yet. We might be okay. He's on the uh, sidelines, actually, so we're probably not going to be okay. And yes, he does have to come off for the second game running. So we're going to bring on Coleman and hopefully try and stretch the defence. Tevez is, is actually going to remain where he currently is, which might be a bit of a surprise. But I'm hoping with a slightly more pace up front that we can uh, break down their defence a little bit better. Also got a feeling that this one might be a little bit longer than nine days out. Atletico Madrid through here. Cross goes in. Mandzukic somehow messes that one up. And Koke's got it. And putting another cross. Jackson Martinez gets there, but De Gea saves. Wilshire again running through onto his left foot. Oh, saved by Moyer. Got our first corner of the game, Wilshire to take. Coleman's in there, on his head and saved again by Moyer. Now our second corner, Wilshire takes. Chiellini's up there, cleared off the line this time by Gabby. Marcelo finds Vidal. Vidal shoots and saved. And that is it for the first half. It is nil-nil. It's been an interesting first half, not too many chances, those ones at the end are probably the only uh, standout chances in the game for us, um, but I'd say we have just been a little bit better than Atletico Madrid, uh, but we are going to keep the team exactly the same for now and see how we get on going into the second half. Coleman's through here, brilliant run from him, easily past the defenders, Coleman saved, no way, that was surely saved. Oh my god, I thought it came off the goalkeeper, it must have been the post. How have I missed that? That was a brilliant opportunity. Should have finessed it. Okay, two changes now, about eight minutes to go, I think, and added on time. So, Dybala's come on, and Kovacic has come on as well. Uh, that means I've taken off Vidal and Wilshire. I've changed the formation slightly, brought them more central and attacking, so hopefully we can have a bit more of an attacking threat uh, going forward. And that is it. We've drawn the game 0-0. Not even enough time to actually get the subs on in the end because the ball didn't go out, but uh, an okay result, I suppose. I think Atletico Madrid are always going to be my biggest rivals, but they're actually third in the uh, table at the moment, or they were before this game, um, so maybe they're not going to be my biggest rivals. I think, I can't remember who it is, is it Fenerbahce or Olympiacos above me, but they drew as well, which is helpful for us. That leaves me on top of uh, the table, I think. Uh, on for both my Champions League and the league, so I'm very happy about that. Um, again, we're going to have to see what uh, Benteke's injuries like. Let's have a look. Eight days, even less than last time. Whew. 
Roll the club. Dabala's not happy about that. That's a shame. Um, speaking of Dabala, actually, his transfer was completed uh, the other day, which is brilliant. I've actually predicted a transfer. That's quite impressive. Um, yeah, his uh, transfer was completed to Juventus the other day. Uh, for, I think it was 23.4 million. I think it was something like that, uh, which is probably a bit more than what I paid for him. But um, we do have a game against Torino now. This is the Torino derby. I know this now after last season people are saying how did you not know this uh, but I know it now and also Tevez has just signed a contract as well in case you didn't see. Um, I know it now that this is the Torino derby I think that's how I pronounce it Torino uh, and it's obviously a very big game for Juventus because they're close rivals I assume um, but we do have a game afterwards as well against Napoli and that's the more important game really. So I am going to have to play a weakened team for that game, but I'm not going to be able to play that in this episode because I've played a couple of games and simmed a couple and I'm kind of running out of time. But thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done this, then please give a like and subscribe. Like I said before, hopefully there'll be more videos out coming soon, uh, but I can't really make any promises as of yet. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to record some more though. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye.